Hi Science Club community, my name is Lydia and I'm a junior mentor with the Science Club for Girls. Today, I'm going to be giving you a recap of what has happened during week six of our club activities. We started out the session by learning about Dr. Victoria M. Stevens, who is an orthopedic surgeon. We learned that orthopedics is the branch of surgery that deals with the musculoskeletal system. We learned then that the skeletal system is a big part of the musculoskeletal system, and that was the focus of week six, the skeletal system. Then we got into some definitions. We learned that bones are dense and hard tissue that form the skeletons of most animals. We learned that skeletal muscles are the muscles that are attached to the bones and that enable you to move. And we learned that voluntary muscles are muscles that you control, such as the muscles in your arms and the muscles in your legs. And we learned that the skeletal system as a whole is the framework that allows our bodies to move. So we started off our first activity with building a model of what the inside of our bones look like. We did this by using a paper towel roll, uh, which is to represent the compact bone. And that's the hard outer layer that contains blood vessels and other nerves. Then we used white modeling clay and we put it in the paper towel roll. We made sure that there was a, a way through this entire roll and that will get to our next, the next step in the activity. We'll see why. So the white modeling clay itself represents the spongy bone, which is the bone's lightweight uh, and inner layer. Then we used pom-poms. So we put red and yellow, I know I don't have yellow pom-poms, inside that hole that we created earlier. And the red pom-poms represent the red bone marrow, which produce essential red and white blood cells. And then the yellow pom-poms are supposed to represent yellow bone marrow. Both generated really interesting conversations about what the inside of our body looked like and raised questions, which we discussed, about the various functions of our bones and muscles and overall skeletal system. We finished by discussing what flexing meant. And we also learned that babies are born with 300 bones and by the time they reach adulthood, they fuse together to make 206. We then finished by coloring in our body books and journaling. We then shared what we were looking forward to in the next week, and we said goodbye. See you next week.